Hello there. Um, I've been seeing a lot of pro-life propaganda on here. Uh, people telling their abortion stories. Um, their horror abortion stories. So I'm going to tell you mine. Um, I posted a few about it already. But um, I didn't really get into the whole procedure. And um, too much into why um, it was a horror. Um, only because of pro-lifers. Um, other than that, I had absolutely no problems. Um, the staff was extremely nice. I had the two-day procedure, so I went in one day. Um, they did some things. Um, didn't hurt at all. Everyone was really nice again. Um, I went in the next day. Um, they gave me some Vicodin. They put me under. And next thing I knew, I woke up asking where my boyfriend was. And, um, oh yeah, and I participated in a study um, about how plastics harm you. So, um, the, the, the part that was the horror, well, when I found out, I had already had one. And I had been in denial um, about it. I'm not regular. And I found out very late. Um, so that made that difficult to rush to beat the time limit. Um, this time, though, I caught it really early. And I was going to go and just get it done. And it was going to be that simple. However, um, since the last one, I've become uh, federally disabled. Um, I no longer have Medi-Cal as my primary health insurance, I have Medicare. And thanks to the pro-lifers, um, well-meaning, misguided, um, there's no federal funding allowed for abortions. And I know that issues come up lately um, within the past year because of what some people quote call Obamacare, which is not much better than what we had before um, but anyways I digress so I'm on Medicare and there's no federal funding um, that delayed me finding a place that would actually accept me um, to the point that I had to drive I know that sounds silly because most people not a lot of states have to drive like to the one clinic in the state, and I'm sorry I'm griping that I had to drive an hour and a half to San Francisco, but I had to drive an hour and a half to San Francisco and pay for a hotel room, and my boyfriend had to miss work, and it was a struggle to figure out a way I was going to get covered. Um, I even went in and asked to be taken off of Medicare in the Social Security office until he told me it would take six months, and that would have been way too late. So um, I can't even tell you like what it feels like unless you have been pregnant and completely stressed out of your gourd on a time limit. Um, I had no intention of ever keeping the child. I have no intention of ever having a child. I was a... I know twice isn't that um, great, but it, both times was not lack of um, any protection. I've always been on birth control, used condoms, things happen. Um, and then being irregular doesn't help me with the... Um, keeping up on it, you know? Um, so, I am not going to debate the pros and cons of why um, uh, abortion is justifiably legal for women and that um, I had very good, actually unselfish reasons um, for not wanting to have children. As I mentioned, I'm disabled, but anyways, um, I'm not going to get into all that. I just want to make the point that you taking away federal funding for abortions 
made my abortion a horror story. And that probably makes you happy, actually. And that saddens me. And that also proves that you're not a Christian. Um, the Christian doesn't make people feel people's lives worse they're supposed to love everybody they're supposed to help people um, you care so much about some cells that went to stem cell research that's gonna help people here now um, you know I don't know why Christians uh, um, who believe that God had a divine plan can't grasp that maybe um, people like me becoming pregnant who would definitely have an abortion might be part of his plan in order to get the stem cells to the people who need them. I don't know if that's true or not. Um, I doubt it because I don't really believe in God. But if you do, I see no reason why you cannot accept that. Um, stem cells help or are going to help in by now would easily have helped if not for Bush. Um, I'm sorry, that saddens me. Anyways, anyone out there who's watching this and actually feels for me and understands what it's like to be pregnant and stressed and have to basically go through something that isn't you know, going to work or going to the store, um, major, I mean, it wasn't, though, like, that's the thing, it, I had no issues in the actual procedure, none, um, gosh, um, the only horror I had was, how was I gonna get to San Francisco, how was I gonna pay for a hotel room, and that was after, months and months and months of calling around all these places and finally finding on a pro-choice website a place in San Francisco. Um, so I am going to include a link that you can find your congressmen and your senators and please if you could take the time to write them about how utterly ridiculous not funding abortions is, and especially um, defunding Planned Parenthood is so illogical. It is completely mind-blowing to me. Besides the fact that it is a drop in the water of our budget, barely noticeable, Planned Parenthood has been the source for me and many of my other friends getting our annuals, getting STDs um, tests. Um, they give me my birth control, they were giving me my birth control for free um, before I was on Medi-Cal and Medicare. I only see in them trying to prevent abortions. Yes, they're there for you if you need one. They don't talk you into it. They don't even come close to crossing that line, okay? Um, their main goal and um, success, great success, is stopping unwanted pregnancies which lead to abortions. And you, a minority, but a squeaky wheel, have now gotten Planned Parenthood defunded also. So, as I said, I'm going to include a link, and anyone who could, I'd really appreciate it um, if you could just write a short letter. Um, just saying, please help, help the women. It's a law, and this is a minority, and Planned Parenthood actually stops abortions, which is logical if you actually stop and think it through, instead of listening to your priest or just not listening or thinking at all, okay?